Hey guys, welcome back to KC's Beer Room. Uh, tonight we're reviewing or we're going to talk about a beer from the Mornington Peninsula Brewing Company. It is their draft. Comes in a straight out black can. Bit of gold writing, bit of draft in the white. It's a premium Australian malts. So it says, there's a lot of small writing on the back here, which I'll endeavour to read. Probably need my torch because I'm so blind. So it says, the Mornington Draft uses premium Australian malts to deliver a distinctly pure lager with a refreshingly full bodied flavour and an unmatchable clean crisp finish. Perfect for the Australian lifestyle and sharing with mates. This beer is truly drinkable gold. Well, I'll be the judge of that. But fucking gold. Sorry, there's fucking possums walking around in my beer room again. Fucking gold. Drink it with your mates. Nothing better than having a beer with a good old mate. Our symbol is de derived from 16C Alchemy. So sorry, but this is hard to read. Alchemy something potable, which means drinkable gold. Okay. Orum? Is it Orum potable? Pot bill? which means drinkable gold. Anyway, it's fucking drinkable gold. I've already said that. It was used as a remedial medicine to cure all illnesses. Well, fucking hell, how would you fucking be? Although medieval medicines did get a few things wrong, the idea of drinking liquid gold is not a bad thought. Cheers. Well, that'd be good. Medieval days. I've got a headache. Have a beer. You've got a stomachache. Have a beer. I'm a bit tired. Have a beer. Well, fuck me. That would have been the life. So, they're in Mornington, Victoria, as the brewery name would s suggest. So, um, so the Mornington, the Mornington uh, brewery is actually a subsidiary of Tribal Breweries which also own Stockade Brew, the Pabst Blue Ribbon and they've got a beer room in Marrickville as well. I don't know if it's in Marrickville but it's called Marrickville, the Barrel Room or Barrel Bar or something. Uh, they do wild gluten free beer. So, on untapped, on untapped, we've lost untapped, anyway, let's get it open, so it is, it is a lager, even though it says it's draft, but it's a lager because a draft beer is normally a beer served from a cask or a keg. This is in a can, so it's not a really a draft beer. But let's get it pour in there. So I don't know if this light is any good. When I was inside drinking one before, it is like a golden amber. It's like a honey, a beautiful honey colored amber. The head was like a, was an off white. So Richie's got his off white um, blazer on. Clear, no haze, because it's a lager. Not that that means anything. The froth, when you do have a froth or the head, it was a very bubbly type of looking head, fastly disappearing. It's 
smell. It's not fruity. It smells like, I don't know, probably, well, it smells more malty than fruit. So, I think it was rated at 3.26 on untapped. We'll give it a taste. pretty good it's um like I said it's very it's more of a multi type beer that uh the bitter hoppy type beers that the, the ales are so I also learned something new today on Facebook on beer what is it one of the beer groups I want they were talking about a cold IPA you know, what the hell is a cold IPA so I've endeavoured to find out that it's a ale that they've uh, fermented or brewed in a colder temperature, like a lager. So it's a pale ale lager. Apparently they used to call them IPLs, Indian pale lagers, but that didn't really catch. And um, so they changed it to a cold IPA. Why don't they just call it a fucking lager? Because that's what it is. But the person that was coming that I was um, commenting to with on the group seems to think that lager isn't like a very it's a dirty word amongst the, I guess the craft breweries. I don't know why because um, I've had some great lagers. The Hawks Lager that was a beautiful beer that had all the flavours that you'd expect from a craft beer. Um, what was the other one? The, I'm trying, sorry, I'm looking up on my wall of my beer cans that are behind you, behind the camera. There was another lager. Oh, it's actually, it's up there. Stone and Woods Green Coast Lager. That's, that's a fucking brilliant beer. You can get that one for, I think they've got it for $56 at the Liquor Stacks, which is at Lapsted Hotel. Well, I think it's Liquor Stacks. This is where I bought these from. $39 for 24 cans. $34, $39 for 24 cans. I saw it, checked it. It's an independent brewery. Even though Tribal own Mornington, they're still independent. Um, so if you're at Liquor Stacks, have a look, find that. Um, You'll enjoy it. This is my fork. It's very drinkable. It's sessionable. To me, it's sort of like a mixture of a um, two weeks extra dry and a Resch's Pilsner. It's sort of got that, oh, I don't know, that the Pilsner sort of aftertaste. That's what it tastes like to me. So if you like two ease extra dry, you don't mind a pills that are, and, I, I, and I, don't get me wrong, because the Mornington do make a, I don't know if it was a lager itself, it was another beer, i try and find it. I don't want to keep looking at my phone, uh, which was a German style beer, which is more of your Pilsner, I guess. Uh, Hang on, bear with me, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so $39, that's a bargain. Uh, ba -ba -da. I don't even know what I was looking for now. Oh, the rest of their beers. Sorry. Let's get there. Yes, I'm 18. Okay, so they do this draft. Oh, I think this is one of their specialties is the Mornington Squad 
Supremacy New England IPA. Oh, sorry. Um, let's just go back to your normal beers. Okay, so they do a pale ale, they do a brown, they do an XPA, they do an alcohol free, and they do the draft. So, what they say about the draft is pretty much what I just read. Drinkable gold, full body flavored, crisp finish. It's a 4.6%, it's got an IBU of 22. The IBU is the um, amber color. So it's all right. It's pretty good for the money that you're going to spend on it. It's got Australian malts. So well worth it. This is what they say to them about themselves. True to the beer and those who drink it, born in the morning to Peninsula, our independently crafted beer uses only the finest hops and malts from classic pale ales to seasonal specials. Our award-winning range belongs in any crowd for any event at any time. Taste the Mornington Peninsula. Well, fucking cheers to you, Mornington Peninsula. Isn't there a serial killer from the Mornington Peninsula? Or maybe not. Well, anyway, that's the Mornington Draft. Reminds me of the old days when you used to be able to buy a Tui's Draft. But for some reason now, it's just called Tui's New. So, if you're looking to try something that's not like, like, like doesn't have the sort of an ale, like the full bitterness beers. And you're looking for something cheap, I would buy this. I recommend to buy this for forty dollars. You can't go wrong. So I don't know. I might um come up with a new rating system. I was doing things out of five. Then I was doing it out of ten. I'm going to make it even easier and just say poor, good, and fucking great. I don't know, it's fucking great. Poor, poor, good, poor, no, let's go poor, okay, and fucking send it. How about that? That's my new ratings. Poor, okay and fucking send it fucking send it being the fucking best so this i'm gonna say okay no fruit eaters it's not a fruit tray it's more of your meat tray there's a couple of lamb chops and a fucking rump steak in this eh, maybe not maybe a bit of chicken breast To be honest, it's got the lager, it's got that nice crisp finish. It's a, 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 a sort of a dry taste. So you can drink this stuff all day long if you wanted to. Uh, so anyway, it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be drinking plenty more of these. I'll probably do another beer review on one of the, on a craft beer. I've still got I still got a, a few in the fridge, or a lot of few, I still got a lot. I might do the Mountain Culture, I think it's an IPA. I think that'll be nice, for, nice beer to review on my birthday. So this beer is okay, which is in the middle of the scale. Price wise, fucking send it. Availability. Probably okay. If I could get it at Liquor Stacks at the Lapstead Hotel Bottle Shop, I reckon that's okay. Uh, so, yeah, 
So until tomorrow night, maybe you won't even see this. I'll try to post, get this up on YouTube uh, tomorrow, but today be Thursday night. Thursday night, I'll have a, uh, uh, my Friday morning. So until then, go the Aussies in the cricket tomorrow. Go my birthday and fucking send it.